Good morning. We welcome you to the March of Faith broadcast. Father, we thank you for letting us see another day. You didn't have to do it, but you show your love and your care. Even down, Lord, when we were burdened down, could nobody help us but you. Oh God, we pray right now that you bless everyone in the church, Lord. Lord, let them get your word in their heart so we won't sin against you because we want to walk by faith and not by sight. Bless the pastor. Give him strength, Lord. We pray, oh God, that your people will be obedient to to the word of God in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us, oh God. You said that we are not of you in all our ways. You will direct our path. Come in and direct us, Lord. In this evil day, Lord. For the day we live it in, it perish. And the enemy is out to destroy your people. But you said, greater he that is in you than he that is in the world. We thank you right now. And we praise you right now. Let your anointed Lord continue to be on us in the name of Jesus. And we'll give you the praise. We'll give you the honor. We'll give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hey family, Brian Poppin here coming to you live from my home in Nashville, Tennessee. How cool that I could be here and you could be wherever you are watching right now and joining in with us live. I want to give a huge shout out to Pastor at March of Faith Community Church. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for having me with you virtually. Maybe one day we can be together in the same building. But for right now, this season that we're going through is just that, a season that comes and goes. But I hope that God uses it to bring us together because I need you and I hope that you need me too. I'm, I'm praying that as a, as a minister in music, that we can worship together. Because one thing I know about worship is when we lift up a hand and surrender to Him, God can make a way when there is no way. So we start believing that, yeah, there might be some fear, there might be some anxiety about my future, about my job situation, about the school situation, even about our present church situation. But we know that God has it all under control. But through the worship, we're gonna say, God, I trust you. God, I need you. God, you're bigger than this, bigger than me. Come on, will you go with me to, right now? Right? Yeah, you're gonna join me right now. Wherever you are watching, we, we gonna go together right now. We gonna praise him. You ready? Come on, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one.
so good, so good, so good, so good, so good, so good. So faithful, so faithful, so faithful, so faithful. In spite of what I see, in spite of what it looks like, in spite of what it feels like. So good, so good, so good, so good. So good, so good, so good, so good. So kitchen, in your bathroom. Come on, say, Good morning, March of Faith. I am so glad to be here with you this morning. Pastor as Bishop Sorrell requested that I speak from my heart this morning. And so with that, you know, I always have to sing, y'all. But um, I'm going to sing this little bit of a song, a little congregational song, just kind of take you back a little bit. And it says, um, Lord, prepare me. To be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a Sanctuary, Lord, for you. Say, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy. Try Thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary, Lord, for you. Got to go to this part. We exalt thee, say we. Father, we thank you. We bless you this morning. We give you praise and honor and glory. We thank you, Father, for your word that you've put on the inside. Hallelujah for your word that's going to go forth. We thank you, Father God, that we have ears to hear and a heart that's set on being obedient to your word. So, Father, I pray that you would anoint my lips. I thank you for the anointing. I thank you, Father, that you would give me what it is that I need to say in this time. 
I thank you, Father. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto you, O Lord, my strength. You are my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so this morning, this is our Sunday before our joining, uh, or should I say the joining in the building, amen? It's been about six months that I could count. <laughs> and so uh, when I thought about what the Lord wanted me to, to talk about, the word I kept hearing was wellness, wellness visit, a wellness visit. And I'm like, well, wellness visit? What do you mean by a wellness visit, Lord? You know, because there are different kind of terms people use for wellness, how, you know, the police come by your house and, you know, I don't know how people feel about the police right now, but sometimes they would come by the house and I think they're trying to change things now as far as um, police come into houses if no one has heard from that loved one. But this is not the type of wellness I'm talking about. The type of wellness that I'm talking about is... A, I worked at a pediatric office in the state of Louisiana for six plus years. And in that pediatric clinic, my assignment was to schedule visits for children. So after being there for so long, I already kind of knew whatever, it didn't matter what age the child was, if it was a newborn, a week old, a five-year-old, a six-year-old, I knew when to schedule the next wellness visit. Amen. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't give honor to my bishop. All right. I give honor to Bishop Sorrell and I give honor to First Lady Pamela. Pam, I always call her that. Amen. And I also give honor to our bishop emeritus hallelujah thank god for him i saw him drive another day i didn't wave and blow the horn but i did see him amen and also to mother gillespie amen and i don't want to forget the one and only my um i often say my baby daddy but i won't say that today but elder gadsden he's the love of my life amen besides jesus all right, and so I've given honor to um, all of the people that I know, and also honor to the elders, uh, all of those that are lay members or deacons, whatever it is that God has called you to, you to then amen, praise the Lord, give you honor, hallelujah. All right, and so going back to my message, as I was saying, the wellness visit, I knew when to schedule them regardless of the age of the child. I knew when to schedule this wellness visit. All right. And so when the Lord was telling me a wellness visit, I had to study and say, wow, well, what do you, what do you mean by a wellness visit? And there is a checklist that the provider or the doctor would always do when the child or the patient would come in. And on this check, checklist, if you've ever been to the doctor, hello people, you should already know the number one, number, it's a number of things that they do when you come in. Number one, the blood pressure. <laughs> and I was like, Lord, where are you going with this blood pressure stuff, okay? Well, with the blood pressure, they have to see whether it's high or low or is it regular or what's going on with your blood, right? Or you could really say the, your cardiovascular system, all right? And so... The Lord said to me, he's like, uh, the, the, the life is in the blood. You know, in Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11, it says that the life is in the blood. And so the Holy Ghost wants to do a checkup with you or a wellness check and see how is the life that you are living right now. These last six months, we've been through a lot of things. We've experienced quite a bit of things in the country and individually and as a church family. And so the Holy Ghost wants to know, how is your blood pressure? How is your life pressure? Because if your life is um, a little low or you could be in a state of depression or you could be in a state of anxiety or chaos or whatever it could be, Either way, low or high, that needs to be regulated. Amen? All right. And then another thing that the Lord was talking about 
was your growth. What has been going on? The, uh, they check your growth when you come in. Are you uh, within the certain amount of, of growth? Are you getting taller? Are you getting wider? <laughs> Are you uh, strong in the Lord and in the power of his might? So when you come in and, 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 and the Lord says, okay, I got, a, I got a wellness check for you. Let's check your growth. How's your, your spiritual growth? Have you backslidden? Hello. How's your relationship with God? You know, some people I see, you know, how you get on the media, social media. and Some people say, oh, well, it's complicated as far as their relationship's concerned. So is your relationship with God right now, is it complicated? Amen, lights. <laughs> It could be complicated right now. Or are you and Jesus just, you know, well, we talk all the time and, you know, we've got great com communication going on, me and the Lord. All right. But check your growth. Check your growth. In the midst of what we've been going through, you have to check your growth. And sometimes if you're not growing, you need to ask, what have you been eating? What's your diet? Hello. You have to check. Uh, well, uh, I eat candy all day. Hello. Or I eat potato chips. I know somebody, I'm not going to name any names, but uh, they love potato chips. And I had to put like, you know, the brakes on them. We're not eating that no more, okay? That's not good for you. <laughs> I didn't say any names. All right, but if that's you, say, Lord, help me. I can hear you now. Say, Lord, help me. Yeah, Lord, help me. It's, it's okay to eat a chip every now and then. You just have to do it, you know, in moderation. All right, and so you have to watch your diet. If you're not growing the way that you need to grow spiritually, what, ha what are you eating? What are you taking in as truth? Are you reading your word? Are you meditating on your word? Are you praying? Are you fasting? Are you staying away from certain things that you don't need to indulge in? Hello. All right. And then another thing that the Lord was talking to me about was, you know, you know how the doctor goes in there and he, he checks your reflexes. But I'm going to rewind. I'm going to go back. He checks your eyes. You know how they have their little flashlight? And it's like, okay, let me see how your eyes, let's see if they look up or let's see if your, your um, court or, you know, they're looking at your cornea. They're looking at all kinds of things in your, inside of your eye when they put that little light on. What have your eyes been set on? The Bible says to set your affections on things above and not on things of the earth. And y'all remember Peter when he was walking on the water, trying to meet Jesus when he was walking on the water, what happened? He took his eyes off of Jesus. It was so easy this year to take your eyes off of the Lord. It was so easy. It was so many distractions. It, it still is, hello. I'm not saying it's not, but there were so many distractions going on. It was hard to focus if you didn't make it up in your mind to keep your eyes on him, to keep your heart clean, to keep your mind right. Hello. So when you don't do that, you'll find some issues going on. <laughs> All right. So he checks, he, he's checking our eyes. He's checking our blood pressure. He's checking our growth. He's checking what we've been eating. Hmm. And then the last thing, I didn't tell y'all I wasn't going to be here forever because you know me. All right. So the last thing that, I, that he told me was, was about your reflexes. You know how he takes the, the, the provider will take that little thing that, I don't even know the name. I meant to look it up and I didn't. Forgive me. But it's a little triangular thing and pop your little tendon by your knee. And, what is it called? I'm sorry. <laughs> he pops it and then your leg kicks out, right? That's your reflexes. He's checking your reflexes. So the Holy Ghost wants to know today. What are your spiritual reflexes? Are you responding 
the way that you need to respond spiritually? Are you responding to sin the way you need to? I had someone ask me the other day that this person asked me crazy questions all of the time and I just have to tell her, get out of my cubicle. <laughs> Go sit down somewhere because you, you, you're acting like something's wrong. But anyway, so she says, um, D, that's what they call me at work, D, do you think it's okay to have an affair with a married man? And I said, why are you really asking me that question? You already know the answer. Hello, why are you asking me this question? I said, now, look at here. Now, have I ever seen a nice looking man? The answer is yes. Was he attractive? Yes. But did I have an affair with him? No. Isn't that something? He has given you the ability, you know, I, I remember the saint saying, he'll keep you if you want to be kept. You can't put yourself in positions <laughs> to get, um, to slip. You know, a lot of people don't talk about sin. The word sin, that three letter word is kind of missing in the church. Yeah, yeah it's kind of missing. And also the word holiness. It's missing. But guess what? It's time to go back to our first works. It's time to go back and do those first works over of, of living in holiness and, and having a mind to be holy. Now, holy don't have nothing to do with you wearing a skirt or your sleeves are long for a man or your hair is cut off the shoulder for a man. I'm, I'm sorry, the, um, the neck. It has nothing to do with that. Holiness, and as I was studying it, those two words, holiness and sanctification, go hand in hand. They're the same thing. And so when we call you a saint, I'm saying you're sanctified. I'm saying you're set apart for God, for his use. I'll never forget how the Lord showed me um, about my body being a temple. And he, <laughs> it was kind of funny the way he did it. It was like you took a whole bunch of trash. And I was here. I was, it was 20-something years ago. And I saw like a big old thing of trash, just like junk, just, just dumped all over those pews back there. And I was like, what in the world is going on? And he was like, if you put that kind of trash in my, in my temple here, why would you put it in you? I live inside of you. You have to be aware of what you do to your body, to your mind, what you allow in. Because what you focus on, that's what's going to come out of you. You wonder why people cuss and go off? Because that's what you've been putting in you. Some things I had to stop watching on TV, y'all. Hello. Why? Because it was feeding that flesh. Because that flesh ain't no good thing. There is no good thing that dwells in your flesh. And some of y'all might not like this message today. But that's all right. <laughs> so we have to be aware of where we are in God amen we have to be holy we have to walk holy we have to have a mind stayed on him right and don't allow Satan to get you off because it's so easy for you're, you to get your attention off and you to say, well, I don't, I don't want to do that and I don't want to be like that and, and those type of people get on my nerves. But what is God saying to you? Okay? What is he saying to you as a saint? You as his child? What is he saying to you? There's been a lot of things that have gone on in these last six months. But my main thing is I want to please God. I want my heart to be right. That was another thing that the, the provider checks is your heart. Your heart rate. Is it beating right? Is it off? Do you have something on the inside of you that you just can't forgive folks for? I've seen so many people 
that are just, I can't forgive for that. And I'm thinking, you can't? Oh, okay. Well, praise the Lord. I, I can't. You, that's something you have to take to the Lord. Lord, I'm having issues with forgiving this person for this or these people for that or my ex-spouse or whoever it may be. I'm working on me. I'm working on me. Come on, say it. Say I'm working on me. Yeah, I'm working on me. I'm working on me. So in conclusion this morning, I really just kind of wanted to give you a little bit I didn't want to keep you long, but in conclusion, make sure that you get your spiritual checkup. Cause you know, a lot of times when we go to the provider, we go to the doctor, we may, he could be a specialist and he'll say, well, this is what you got to do. This is what you need to do. And they'll write your prescription or they'll say, this is the progress note. This is what you need to work on. You may need to exercise. You know what a spiritual exercise is? That could be praying. Hello. And you know what? It doesn't take you coming down to the church to pray. You can have conversations with God all day long. All day. Paul said, I pray all the time. He said he was always praying in the spirit. Always. It's possible to just have conversation with God. Just sitting at your desk, sitting on your couch at home, just having a conversation with him, saying, Lord, this husband of mine, he didn't got on my nerves, Jesus, and we're just going to have a talk right here on the couch, sitting at this table. That's the kind of God he is. Amen? So check yourself. Today was a wellness visit to see where you are. <laughs> And if we don't, if we, if we need to get a prescription from God where, you know, he gives us a plan of what we need to do to how to, you know, to get it together, then now's the time. The days are short and Jesus is on his way, y'all. All right. So with that, Father, we thank you, we bless you, we give you glory, we give you praise. We thank you, Father, for your word today. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for a spiritual wellness check. We thank you, Father, that we take your word and we measure ourselves up to your word. We thank you for your grace and for your love and your kindness to us, Lord. We just give you praise for it right now, Lord God. Hallelujah. We pray, Father, that you would forgive us for uh, sins of omission and commission. Give us what we need to do today, God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, family. We would like to thank you for your continued charitable support. If you would like to sow into the March of Faith Community Church, please note the following ways to give. One, mail contributions to P.O. Box 999, Carbondale, Illinois, 62902. Two, Cash app to Midwest SG. Three, Venmo to Midwest SG. Thank you again and may God bless you.